Yo, hit the sub, hit the bell, let's get into it. So today I'm going to be reviewing... I'm not sure how to pronounce this name. Ermenajota Zinga? Womo? I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably butchering that name. I picked this up at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. This was 10 bucks. I really like this in. Let's take a look at the bottom. So this was dropped in 2013. This features notes of citrus, bergamot, violet, vetiver, and cedar. Very nice presentation. I love the ribbed outside of the bottle. The cap is a plastic cap here. Put that to the side. Very nice presentation, nice and clean, simple. Like I said, I love that ridge sort of design on the bottle. The atomizer is decent. It's a little narrow, but we'll look at that in a second. Very simple bottle. This is a one ounce, I believe, a one ounce or a 1.4 ounce bottle. Very nice presentation, clean, simple. Not a whole lot going on. The title of the bottle is right at the bottom. Very nice and obvious. And here is the atomizer. Very straight, narrow. Um, not the best, but it's not the worst at all. I just happen to like really like this. I like the dry down on this a whole lot. Uh, with, it's a very simple note layout. You got some citrus, you got some bergamot, you got your vetiver, you got your violet, you got your cedar. It's a very simple layout of notes, but just the way everything comes together is really nice. So I have the dry down right here on my hand. Very smooth, uh, slightly warm. It's just a little bit of sweetness. There's not a whole lot of sweetness in here, but it just, it's just a little bit. Like this doesn't come off super sharp. It has, like I said, it has a little bit of sweetness. It's kind of smooth. It's sharp enough where it smells like a, a fresh office, day-to-day, -day, going to work. This is a very good day-to-day -day scent. And I, to me, it smells really good. For 10 bucks, it's not bad. And to me, this lasts. I've worn this before and I've gotten a solid maybe six or seven hours out of it for it to be 10 bucks, that's decent. I can take six, seven hours. You, you, There's some colognes out there that cost way more than this that, that doesn't last as long as this at all. So 10 bucks, nice presentation, nice size bottle. I don't necessarily need a whole lot of this. Uh, I can pack this and take this with me. I don't feel like it's super huge. Very thin sort of design to it. It's a little wide, but very slim. I like it. The atomizer on this, like I said, is not the best. You know what I mean? Oh, very fresh. Got like a slight pepperiness to it a little bit. Very nice fragrance. I've worn, like I said, I've worn this just doing my day-to-day, -day, running around, doing, you know, doing running my errands and stuff like that. Very nice scent. If I was to rate this one out of ten, I would give it a solid six and a half, maybe seven. Um Presentation is nice. I, I can't complain about the presentation. It's simple. We get right to the point. Title real big at the bottom. Nice, uh, just basic sort of bottle. I like the rib sort of design on it. I think that's pretty cool. Atomizer. I would take points off for the atomizer because it's just, I don't know, it's not the best. It shoots it sort of narrow. But other than that, it's not bad. Got the batch code information at the bottom. Not a bad pickup. I'm going to look for it and see if I can find a link for it online where I can drop it in the description if you guys want to check this out. Very clean, subtle, chill, fresh, not powdery for real. Yeah, I don't get much powderiness from this. Slightly warm, just a hint of sweetness and a hint of spice. And I do mean hint. Very well done for, for the price point. That is it for this video, you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.